Whether you're designing buildings, products, parts or layouts, you want to make more, more quickly and with less negative impact on the planet. And there's no doubt that automation is changing how we work and what we're capable of doing. The AutoCAD team here at Autodesk is at the forefront of this movement, enabling you, the architects, engineers, and designers to work smarter by continuously improving our software. We take an enormous amount of pride in helping our subscribers design better outcomes, and we can't wait to see how automation included in AutoCAD can boost your productivity in the process. We're excited to share with you some of the latest innovations that have been designed based on your direct input to help you do more, no matter where you work. When you subscribe to AutoCAD, not only do you get the newest software with powerful performance updates, you can work faster with access to seven specialized tool sets for industries such as architecture, mechanical, and electrical design to automate tasks and save you hours, even days of valuable time. And you can access AutoCAD on virtually any device with our state-of-the-art AutoCAD web and mobile apps to view and edit your drawings in real time, in the field, and on the go. Part of being a modern, connected product means giving you access to your data, no matter where it's stored. You can trust Autodesk to handle your DWGs and their associated XREFs using the Save to Web and Mobile feature. We also know that you like to use other cloud storage providers as part of your workflow. So we've worked to build partnerships with the leading cloud storage companies. So now you can enjoy a seamless experience, whether you store your data on an Autodesk platform or save your designs to Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, or now Google Drive. Our newest release, AutoCAD 2021, enables you to stay connected to your block content anytime, anywhere. Find, preview, and insert blocks from the Libraries tab from the AutoCAD desktop app or within our web app. With the new Drawing History feature, get automatic insights right within the canvas to see the evolution of your work. We're using the Drawing Compare technology to make it easier to understand not only the delta between two drawings, but the changes to one drawing over time. Compare and see the changes made to a drawing that's been attached as an external reference or XREF to your current drawing. With AutoCAD, you have seamless access across desktop, web, and mobile to enable you to effectively design better outcomes. We're excited to see how you use AutoCAD to make anything. The new XREF Compare feature in AutoCAD 2021 helps you understand what's changed in the files that your drawing references. Let's say you've recently begun work on the power for a building. As you open the drawing, you'll see that there's a change to the floor plan through this bubble notification. You can choose to view the differences right from the notification. We've added some functionality to the DWG Compare experience to accommodate the additional complexity with managing XREFs. Here, you can toggle visibility to turn off the previous XREF version, or to turn off the most recent XREF version. You can also toggle visibility for the geometry in the XREF that hasn't changed, as well as the geometry that isn't being compared, such as the host drawing or other references. As you navigate to the changes in the XREF, you can edit the geometry of the host drawing. There are some outlets here that need to be adjusted to accommodate the new floor plan. You can reference the previous and current XREF versions to guide your edits. Here, you can choose to view only the new XREF version to make sure that your changes work with the new layout. And for those who rely on the XREF palette to manage updates, you can also enter the comparison from within the palette. When you reload an XREF from the palette, you'll be presented with an option to compare the changes. You can navigate these changes and make sure no further updates are needed. In the past, it's been a manual and time-consuming process to keep track of the changes in the project around you. By helping you automate this process, we know we'll be able to save you valuable time and help you get back to meaningful work faster. In AutoCAD 2020, we introduced a new way of managing blocks with the new blocks palette. In AutoCAD 2021, we've made improvements to the blocks palette that make your blocks accessible from anywhere. 
If your block library and recent blocks are set to a supported cloud storage provider, such as Box, Dropbox, or Microsoft OneDrive, you'll be able to access your blocks across other devices and on the AutoCAD web app. In this drawing, we'll insert a fixture to this Office remodel. In the updated palette, you can find, preview, and insert blocks. Select a folder from a cloud storage provider that contains your blocks. Let's add this sync block into the drawing. Let's say later on you're away from your computer and you realize you need to insert a different sync. Even though you don't have access to AutoCAD, you can use the AutoCAD web app from any browser. Just go to web.autocad.com. And since your block's library is saved on the cloud, you have access to the same block library and recent blocks list from desktop. Let's fix the sinks. First, delete the existing sync. Then, on the Blocks tab, use the block library to add the new sync block into the drawing, just as you would have on desktop. Now that you've fixed the drawing, you can save it. With the new Blocks palette on AutoCAD Desktop and the AutoCAD Web App, you'll be connected to your block content anytime, anywhere. In AutoCAD 2021, we've added a new drawing history feature, providing automatic insights right within the drawing to see the evolution of your work. Let's say you just got back from a meeting with a client to get feedback on some recent work. When you open the file, you're immediately notified that the drawing's been updated. You can enter a compare state to view the differences between the current version with the last one that you saved. Now, your team experimented with adding some rooms on the first floor, but during the review, the client said that she wanted to go back to an open floor plan that you had earlier. You can pull up the new drawing history palette to see past versions of the drawing. From this palette, you can filter previous versions by who saved them. You can also filter by when the drawing was saved. This looks like the right plan. From the history palette, you can choose to compare this past version with the current drawing. You'll see the open floor plan from the previous version represented in red. Let's turn off visibility for the previous version so you can select the new geometry and erase it. When you turn the previous version back on, it will show the open floor plan. You can use the import feature to bring this geometry into the current drawing. And since this is a live comparison, any deleted geometry that was shared by both versions will show in the previous version so you can import that back to the current drawing. So now the open floor plan is restored. One benefit here is that the geometry that you import will automatically be added to the correct layer based on the layer from the previous version. Now, there were some recent changes that you wanted to keep in the drawing. We can see them here again, and you can leave them in place and exit the compare state with the best of both versions. What's best is that we did this without having to save or manage separate file versions. So with drawing history, you can get insight into the evolution of your work easier than ever before.